Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can work with loops in the Dr. Octorex loop player. Dr. Octorex features eight loop slots. Each of these slots can hold a Rex file. Let's check out what you can do with a Rex file loaded into one of these slots. Here in the display is the graphical representation of the Rex loop. Each of the slices are indicated by a red vertical line. You select a slice for editing by just clicking on it in the display, like this. For each of the slices in the Rex loop, you can edit the pitch, pan, level, decay, reverse, filter frequency, alternate group, and audio output. You can edit all these parameters for each slice by turning these knobs. To make it easier to edit several slices, there is the Slice Edit mode. Now, the display changes appearance and features a row of parameter items at the bottom. Let's say we want to change the panning of our slices in this loop. Click the Pan parameter item and click on the display to change the panning of the slices individually. You can also draw in the display like this to change all slices in a single sweep. To reset a slice to its default value, just control click under Windows or command click on Mac. If you want to reset the parameter values for all slices, hold down control or command and draw across the display like this. Let's set a couple of slices in this Rex loop to reverse. Hmm, sounds interesting. Okay. Those were some examples of how we could edit a Rex loop. Now, let's check out how we can use several Rex loops and switch between them from the sequencer. On the Dr. Octo Rex, it's possible to switch between the loop slots using pattern automation. This is done in a way similar as when switching between patterns in the Redrum drum computer. When you use pattern automation in Dr. Octo Rex, make sure the Enable Loop Playback button is on. Let's create a pattern automation lane and draw a pattern automation clip for loop slot 1, like this. Now, let's create another pattern clip assigned to loop slot 2. And another one for loop slot 3. Let's play back the track. As you can hear, the playback switches between the loop slots according to the pattern automation. A new feature in Reason 5 is that pattern automation clips now can have an offset when you resize them. Let's resize the start position of this clip by one bar. As you can hear, Clip 2 now forces the loop in Slot 2 to play back the Rex loop from Bar 2 instead of from the beginning. This way, you can create some really interesting beats when using pattern automation. Let's resize our pattern automation clips. Okay, let's hear what we've got now. Pretty groovy. So that's just one of many ways that you can work with the Dr. Octorex loop player.